Hello and thank you for joining us. My name is Todd Millar, the owner of the original Espresso Machine Company. We've got a new machine that we're presenting. I'd like to kind of make you guys aware of it. This machine is actually a model of machine is made by Bezerra, one of the oldest espresso machine manufacturers in Italy today. Strong has influenced Bezerra heavily and made some changes and improvements, we feel, that are pretty important to the, the American espresso, or American style espresso. Um, you'll see here, it looks sort of like the common Bezerra BZ40. And the BZ40 has actually been a, a really big workhorse in the espresso industry for the last 20 years. I think 25 years, actually, to be exact. Um, this machine looks similar to a regular BZ40, but what we've done, and what Strong has done, is influenced them on a couple different levels. Um, number one, they've changed from a, a standard twist knob to a steam lever. And these levers are nice because they're any position you, you actually flip the lever, it'll actually actuate the steam. Um, which is a little nicer, a little easier to use, a little more ergonomic. Um, what else I like about it is they last longer. The steam levers do have a longer, uh, longer life in terms of use. Um, a little easier to use, as I said before. Um, the other thing that they've gone with is instead of now, the Bezerra BZ40, which was, again, a great machine, um, but they had a standard steam one that just swiveled back and forth. And what these have is a solid stainless steel um, instead of copper that's chrome plated, a steam one that goes all directions. So it's a, it's a fully articulating steam one. And again, solid stainless steel. And what that really benefits you with is it gives you the ability to uh, take a Brillo pad or scratch off any, any type of debris like milk, dried on milk or baked on milk that might stay on the, on the actual wand. And what we like about this is it's, you know, it's, it's bulletproof. There's no chrome to peel off. Um, and I, so I really think it's a big improvement. The other improvement they, that Strong has influenced Bezerra with is instead of a, a painted steel or a baked on steel enameled finish on the back of the machine, the sides, we've gone with 100% stainless steel on the full body of the machine. And that really is a durability thing. Also looks great in your kitchen. Um, as you know, most people like a stainless steel appliance in their kitchen. And, and this machine really is a commercial machine. It's, it's great for cafes, uh, restaurants that need to add espresso but don't necessarily need to get a giant big machine. What we like about this machine is it has a very low profile. It's under 16 inches and what that gives you is most counters and kitchens you, you have a big problem sliding the machine underneath, especially in a commercial machine, sliding it underneath your standard cabinet height. This is a really nice low profile machine, so this will give you that ability to do that. What we're going to do now is I'm going to show you inside the machine. I'll give you a quick look at the back. As you can see, it's all stainless steel on the sides um, as well as the back. It's got a real nice satin stainless steel finish. It hides the smudges real nice. Um, and it's, it's just a real durable machine, so you won't have to do a lot of cleaning on it and such. So let's go ahead and open up the back. It comes apart very easily. In fact, the machine, what I always liked about the Bezerra is they do come apart very easy. Um, and so when you're working on your machine or you have any service issues down the road, as all machines eventually will, it's nice to be able to just take off two screws. And really just taking off a couple screws does a lot because the machine has a great three panel system and they're all connected and it just simply slides off. So, and again, all stainless. You can see in the back of the machine a couple things that are exposed that are real obvious and apparent right from the get-go. Um, number one is a full-size rotary vane pump. On the cheaper machines or on the less expensive machines that you see out there that are, that are so-called commercial machines, this is where you usually see kind of a, a downturn in quality that go with a small vibration pump. What's nice about this one is it's, it's a, it is a full-size rotary and a full-size rotary, rotary vane motor. So the motor is actually very substantial, very strong. Um, the other thing you see on, on the less expensive machines that you don't see on the big commercial machines, and you see this is a real common part, is a full-size pressure stat. This is made by Parker. It's a really good brand. Parker's been around. Parker Hennepin of Italy and Germany. I've been around for many years. Um, and you all see a computer system, which is just a, a standard li liquid level control. I'm going to have you come a little closer here, and we'll, I'll show you the boiler and the, and the uh, probe systems. 
What we've got here is actually a full-size boiler. This is a no-nonsense boiler. This is not some little boiler for steam or a little boiler for, for brewing. This is a heat exchanger machine, but it is a very efficient, very, very sophisticated heat exchanger machine. In fact, they've been building this machine for so long, they've really refined uh, the, the heat exchanger systems more than anybody. The consistency of your espresso is exact. Um, there's really no need to go any further on as far as improvements because they've really perfected it. We've done uh, digital tests with the head head temperatures, very, very stable. Um, but number one, what I see right off the bat as a big positive is it actually has a double probe system. Uh, normally, machines only have a single probe. And this is actually what, what regulates the water fill in the machine, but it also regulates, it's kind of like a, a safety system. It really is a safety system that saves the machine. The number one failure on espresso machines is the heating system, and that's due to the fact that the water fill systems can fail. What we have what we really like about this, now we didn't improve this, this is what Bizarre already has standard on their machines in their BZ40s. What I like about this machine is you've got this first probe that's just for water fill. Now if this were to fail, or any other component were to fail filling the machine, then this secondary probe, which is slightly shorter, I'm sorry, slightly longer, what it does is it basically shuts the machine off by use of a contactor and it shuts off the heating element before it ruins the heating element. And that's, again, one of the number one failures. So this is really a nice fail safe. Um, it's also got an overheat thermostat on, on the bottom of the boiler. It's hard to see, um, but it's located right in the bottom of the boiler. And this is the, that's the overheat thermostat located in the bottom of the boiler. So it's a nice, uh, it's got a third, a third backup for filling. So if something were to go wrong, it's got three fail safes. Um, also, what we really like about this machine is the uh, the layout. It's very easy to get, to get to everything, very easy to work on. Everything's very, very simple. Um, the solenoids are full size, you know, commercial solenoids. So as far as you know, your filling solenoid and your, your brewing solenoid, um, very straightforward, very easy to work on. Again, if you, we look at the front of the machine, you also see a couple of the, the points that are nice. It's got a double gauge on it, and what that is is the top one is for your steam, the bottom one is for your water with your water pressure, and what that does, it gives us the ability to, to watch or monitor our, our pressures, make sure that we're just exact the way we need to be. So as far as a machine, I can't see a better machine out there uh, for the money. Very, very easy to work on, very easy uh, for, for getting parts because it's a very, very common machine. In fact, Bezerra has been building machines since 1907. Um, couldn't get a machine, a company that's been in, in business longer. So we're very proud to have the strong name on it and, and work in conjunction with them. Yeah, this kind of concludes the presentation and I just would you know, like to add a few things. I think what you'll find if you own a Bezerra, and most people that own Bezerras and have owned Bezerras for many, many years, um, they're very sold on them. They, you know, they repurchase Bezerra products. Um, but what really makes this a nice machine is its longevity. The company's been in business since 1907. Um, you couldn't get a, a company longer in business. In fact, they invented the espresso machine in 1907. So uh, Luigi Bezerra, who was the inventor, um, so Bezerra's, you know, they've got a solid reputation. Um, they're very well known. Uh, what I really like about it is the quality of coffee that comes out of it. That's what we're really talking about. Every component, including the three and a half liter boiler, um, oversized boiler, oversized elements, um, you know, of course, all, all stainless steel construction. Um, what you're going to be happy with mostly is your quality of coffee that comes out of the machine and the speed of it. Uh, this is truly a commercial machine. This is not a machine that's been watered down uh, that's sort of kind of commercial and kind of home. This really is a commercial machine. So if you purchase one, I think you'll be very happy. We've been happy. We've been working with Bizarre for the last 15 years. Uh, been a great company to work with. Uh, you know, and there's there's a lot to be said about longevity, you know, and the fact that it is Italian. Um, but you know, you I think in the long run, uh, working with this company, you will uh, you will continue to work with them. And uh, like we like I've said before, a lot of people don't change once they start with the Bazaar. They they continue on. So thanks for checking it out, and uh, we'll have a little probably some specs and stuff on the website that you can you can look at and, and research a little bit more.